Okay, my name is JP Canuck. We're here to demonstrate some of our Canadian Jiu Jitsu. We know Jiu Jitsu has gone everywhere, all around the world. Uh, a lot of people practice their Jiu Jitsu in 90 degree weather on beaches and all that fun stuff. And uh, some people can't even make it to the gym because they say it's cold. Well, here in Canada, you look around, this is where we live. Currently minus 40 with the wind chill, but we're ready to go. Jiu Jitsu, we have to practice everywhere for any time, any circumstance. Welcome to Canadian Jiu Jitsu. So, what we're going to demonstrate now is a bit of a technique, a uh, case of reckless Canadian, much like my friend here, LJ Canuck, uh, is going to demonstrate here. He might want to put down his Tim Hortons coffee and he's, he's saying he's going to attack me. So here's what you would do to defend yourself. Yes, Sensei! Hands up, all the time. He moves in forward, trying to grab me and attack me. Oh! Leave him in the snow. Here is uh, option number two in case you get attacked by another crazy Canadian. Hands up all the time in my stance, always being aware. I'm telling you to stop. Please, sir, stop. So this scenario is safe by accident. You fall down, your attacker goes to your... Comes into your guard. Always want to control him. And now what do we do? Canadian Jiu Jitsu, we have our own techniques of keeping ourselves safe. Allow me to demonstrate the snowmobile plot. This is, oh. <laughs> this is the snowmobile plot. If he does not want to tap, Give him some more. <laughs> okay, we have another scenario here in Canada. Sometimes attackers, you never know who they are. Looks like a nice guy, you can't tell. But for some reason, he may try and grab and choke me. I have no idea. So what I'm going to do is go under, go back, grab his back, let him go forward. Dump him in his snow. I'm going to take the back mount, I'm going to hold him here, he cannot move, he cannot get up, so I'm going to grab my scarf, put it around his neck, grab one, grab the other, and I'm going to choke till he goes to sleep. That's a Canadian scarf hold. <laughs> 